And we're back with Richard Reviews. Today we're reviewing a book for richardreviews.com slash Griffin Chestnut here on YouTube. This is Richard's personal YouTube page where he's able to upload and review all of his specialized content. Today's book that Richard will be reviewing for us is titled After Dark by Haruki Murakami. This is one of Haruki Murakami's uh, personal prized pieces, one of his original researched pieces, and one of his best. This is Richard's personal piece, and we're going to review it from front to back with Richard here. Um, Richard would like to say right off the bat, this piece gets two thumbs up, being an all-time classic for Mr. Haruki Murakami. Uh, Richard claims that this piece, After Dark, is much like many others of Haruki Murakami, and considers this one of his best. Very similar to Norwegian Wood, The Wind of Bird Chronicle, 1Q84, and Killing Commodore. This piece has everything that classic Murakami has, including wells, dried up wells, uh, single terminal velocity, females slowly disappearing, cats, birds, and Syncrosities, an old jazz bar with vodka, describing very good cooking methods and um, a good bit of existentialism. This is all in part due to the fact that Murakami grew up in Tokyo in the 1950s and 60s. So his idea of stature and beautiful, beautiful looking pieces of art, he can appreciate and ultimately shun through. There is nothing wrong with watching this type of uh, art on camera. So he's basically able to um, bring in different types of wind tunnels that are immaculate in design, show through this beautiful notion of creating a small popsicle in the tongue, and it ultimately forms into a depression with back pressure. This will be... Uh, very similar to as if somebody, uh, the next door neighbor, picks up small pennies, and as a result, there you go. The air can be rushing by, and you feel a slight uh, barnacle on the turbulence of notion. This is where the climax of the story and the characters are just hanging out like that. And Richard follows through. Back in 2003, Richard fell uh, down a flight of stairs, and he ultimately herded his metatarsals on his feet. <clears throat> they were broken in seven condicular different discussions, which in detail show that these can not only become dangerous, but more velocity is attributed to about 80 kilometers per hour. So we're going to take a look at this piece and its whole piece. This is an original Hir Haruki Murakami condition. And uh, it is in very good condition, as you can tell. It is a uh, pretty much an average length piece, as you can tell. And we're going to get into uh, the nature of it. It is a soft cover, as you can tell. Okay, it's got good, good softness to it. Good bend and very good shine. You can tell the shine is packed. Packed shine. This piece is... Packed shine. Yep, good packed shine. This is the bottom. Bottom cream condition, very good. And the top cream condition, very good. And the top cream condition, also very good. On the side, we have Haruki Murakami, After Dark, and then the publishing company's conservative electoral debut, vintage. In the back, of course, we have more conglomerate essays by the man himself, Mr. Haruki Murakami. This is more praise to such a man, more praise to a partival and a concrosity, which turns over a form of smoothing nature, maybe a, a, a conglomerate essay, a smooth, stylistic version of Tennis and Racquetball's Delight. 
So you're swinging in and you're reeling out, and you're swinging in and you're reeling out. And when you do that, you don't have any crosswinds. The crosswinds are non-existent. They're all caddywhacks. Um, they're all caddywhacks. Um, they're all caddywhacks. Um, so as you can tell, there's a lot going on in this story with the simple synapse, the praise for the piece itself, praise for the author, the author's biography, a small publishing corporation, uh, Pibliotical, uh, Pibliotical narrow view, and the barcode, which is um, inappropriately positioned a little bit too far south. Richard prefers that the barcode be positioned a little north. Instead of being north and dilated to the right, he wants it dilation up and then north dilated to the right. So dilated up and then north dilated to the right instead of this which um, can be looked, looked past, of course. Um, but here's the author himself, Mr. Haruki Murakami. Uh, we have him to thank for this. Thank you, Mr. Haruki Murakami. There he is, looking uh, directly into you, making sure you take a look at his piece and appreciate it for what it's worth. Um, right above the barcode, we have what appears to say fiction in the generosity area. And the overall price in the United States, which is fifteen ninety five, a very appropriate price for a piece like this, for this magnitude. This is a very appropriate piece for Haruki Murakami, and uh, we want to keep this piece in its prized and peaceful collection. So, thank you, Richard. Thank you, Mr. Haruki Murakami. And uh, we're going to take a look inside and make sure everything is glowing as it should be. Richard read this entire piece in 2014. So just the fact that he did that really shows that it aged very well and it came across as a very beautiful piece. It's a little shorter on the dialect page part and it's, um, it's beautifully written as you can tell. Uh, everything that Marikami touches turns to gold and uh, he, he really does show that... Um, you can really spot his works from like a tall building. You know it's his works because a tall building filled with pizza and popcorn, you know it's good it's good stuff. There's a little pineapple, there's a little chicken pot pie, and everything else, uh, Haruki Murakami is all eligible. So around the end, we have a page count of 244. So we can appropriately and confidently and fairly say that this piece is a 275-page magnum opus of uh, Mr. Haruki Murakami himself, titled After Dark. This is one of Haruki Murakami's later pieces, and very similar to IQ84, um, Norwegian Wood, Pinball 73, and uh, the, the Hear the Wind Sing. Beautiful pieces by Mr. Haruki Murakami. Beautiful work by Richard himself, giving us the concept of reviewing these pieces for richardreviews.com slash griffinchestnut here on YouTube. This has been an official Richard Reviews of Haruki Murakami's one personal classic, After Dark. And this, of course, was, was reviewed by Richard himself. So thank you, Mr. Haruki Murakami, and thank you, Mr. Richard himself. Thank you, and catch us next time.